Hey, what's going on guys? Liger back here with a new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna let you guys know how to get your free own Team Fortress trading bot. And yes, you heard me right. It does everything else for you, trades for you, advertises for you, keeps updating prices, and even notifies you on Discord when a sale is complete. All right, before ever we do anything, there are some stuff you gotta know. Um, the first thing is getting a Steam account for your bot, of course. Make like a better profile than this. Look at this dude. In 2020, and I replied just now. <laughs> like what the hell? Okay, uh, just make a better profile than this and link that profile with Steam Desktop Authenticator. If you didn't know what Steam Desktop Authenticator is, it's an application that replaces your mobile phone so the bot can access Steam Desktop Authenticator and confirm the trades. Also get the codes to log in to the profile if needed. If you never used it before, just go to the Steam Desktop Authenticator website on GitHub. I'll be linking this one as well and download the latest version from here. The latest one was buggy for me. It did not want to work for some reason. So right now I'm working with this one. So the others are buggy for some reason. I mean, you might be watching years from the video release. So just download the latest version from here. And yeah, get this desktop authenticator and set it up with your bot. There are tons of instructions in here also in YouTube. If you still couldn't figure it out, go to start and hit shut down because why the heck are you using a PC? All right, now when you set desktop authenticator, your bot will have like a 14 days trade ban. So you got to wait through that. That sucks, but that's how Steam works. And um, once your 14 days are over, you can come back to this video and check the rest of the guide. Also, you need to make sure to buy a $5 Steam wallet and buy at least a dollar item worth from the Manco store. So you got to use your bot Steam account and access to Team Fortress and buy an item from the store. Um, make sure when you check out, you have this premium gift package and this hat. Um, if you don't get this, don't buy that item. You are buying it from Steam Market and not Manco store. Just make sure you have this verification when you are buying from the Manco store. That way you get your pay to play. Um, I'm joined today by Steen Acid, who actually guided me through into making my bot. And while he was guiding me, we faced some problems, so I had to figure them out in case you guys face the same problems so you can solve them. And without further ado, let's get into the guide. First, head over to this website, TF2 Autobot. I'll be linking it in the description below. I'll also post every link I'm using in this video in the description or any other like stuff you can copy that you will need. After going to the page, head over to the GitHub, click on code and then click on download zip. Now extract the files to somewhere that you can access easily. Uh, for example, desktop like I did here. Next, head over to the Node.js website. It will be also in the description below. And make sure to download the LTS version for your correct operating system. Next, head over to the Git website and make sure to also download the correct one for your operating system. After that, go to this link that I'll be sharing in the description below. Yeah, Acid is helping me a ton in this video. I'll be sharing his uh, YouTube channel in the description below. He uploads uh, some very fun Team Fortress content you should definitely check it out once you get into that website go back to your desktop or wherever your bot is placed open the file and select git bash here um, once the console is open go back to the website scroll all the way down and copy the commands one by one
After that, you will notice that TF2 Autobot inside your TF2 Bot Master file has been created. Open it up and look for template.ecosystem.json. Open that file using a notepad. Once you're here, you need to fill up some informations. Here is how to get them. First, the Steam account name. It has to be the bot's account login name and then the bot's account login password in the Steam password. Also, here is how you got your shared secret. Inside the Steam desktop authenticator, go to MA files and then open up this file using notepad. You should find your shared secret inside that file. Um, I ran into a problem which was just finding random text inside that file if you get the same problem just go back to the steam desktop authenticator application open it and delete the encryption key and that should solve the problem also you will find your shared identity secret in the same file so just paste it in here as well after that go to backpack sign in to backpack with your bot and head over to settings and connections click on show token and copy the token that Backpack gives you and paste it into the file. After that, go to this developer link which directs you to Backpack again and fill in your site URL with the site I'm gonna be pasting in the description below, so just copy it from there. Also, answer what are you using the IPI for with the same answer I just pasted in there. It's gonna be in the description as well, so just check the description. After that, click show my IPI key and Backpack is gonna generate an API for you. Copy it and paste it in the notepad as well. Now you will need to get your Steam ID 64. Just go to your profile settings. If you have a custom URL setup, remove that and it should show up. Copy it and paste it into the notepad as well. So that way the bot knows that's you and you can just control it by messaging commands to it. Make sure to remove the brackets and yeah. Now it's time to start the bot. Go to your bot master folder and then go inside TF2 Autobot. Right click on an empty space and press git bash here. A console should open for you. Just paste in this command that's gonna be in the description as well. It should start but if it didn't, like it didn't for me. So I had to figure out that problem. It's just one of the libraries missing I think. I'm gonna paste this website which gave me the solution. This second command worked with me, but yeah, it, just if it didn't work for you guys, just try any of these commands and type the command to start the bot and it should work after that. The bot won't stop unless you message it stop from your main account or just shut down the computer. You can set the bot to look like it's playing any game you think, even if it's not in Steam. You go inside TF2 Autobot and you go into Files, open options using Notepad and look for Game. So if you want it to play Team Fortress only, just turn false to true. If you want a custom game, whatever you want. I typed in like my YouTube channel, so that's a free advertisement. Let's go. And yeah, you can set up anything you want here, literally. And now let's set up the Discord notifications. First, create a server in Discord and then head into that server. Go to a channel that you want the bot to notify you about the trades in. Go to the settings, go to the integrations and select a new webhook. Type the name, like whatever name you want and copy the link. Look for Discord webhook inside the same text file and paste in that URL that you just copied. Next, go to Discord, look bottom left, you will see your uh, picture. Left click on it and select copy user ID and paste it in owner ID. Now select what you want the bot that gives you notifications on Discord to appear at and type it on display name. And if you want to give the bot a profile picture, copy the picture URL and paste it next to avatar URL. Now go back into your TF2 Autobot folder and let's start the bot and test some stuff on it. So I'll trade the bot a scrap and see if it accepts it and gives me the notification on Discord. And that's great, everything is working. And now let's move on to some useful commands you can use. Exclamation mark and then add item equals space and type the item's name to add the item into the bot's listings and starts flipping it. 
exclamation mark price check all to update the prices on all of the items you have listed there are many many other commands for you to completely take control over your bot i can't go through them in one video so i'll just be linking the commands list and what they do in the description below i am in acids bots discord right now and look how many trades he's making it's legit insane and sometimes you make a lot in overpay as well the bot will tell you how much you made in overpay and everything Imagine you got experienced in unusual trading and just automatically listed with the bot. My channel is all around unusual trading so make sure to check it out. I'd recommend this short video in the outro to start with.